Hi everyone. Just after I uploaded my strings test of Muse sounds, someone added another vote to the poll in my channel. So, with reference to that, here is a look at the woodwind section in Musical 4 Beta with Muse sounds. I tried to stick with what I think are typical orchestral wind use cases. So we have some runs, some staccato quavers, and some chords. Further on, I tried a sax quartet in my approximation of a little swing section. Mr. Vandenberg, this one is for you. I've only used the more traditional instruments, your bass clarinet and English horn, perhaps people might think are a bit out there, but take note that there is also included a second flute, there's also alto flute and bass flute and contrabass flute, so you could really be writing for a really great flute ensemble here. They also have a clarinet in E flat and a contrabassoon. That is quite a range of instruments. Let's see how these ones fare. Okay, well, let's start with the good points, shall we? These runs are phenomenal. They're light and crisp and perfectly together. I must say I'm also really impressed with the light staccato sound. And transitioning between slurs and staccato sounds real and accurate. Beautiful. The tone of the winds blend beautifully in this dovetailed chord. But they also stand out in their solo sections when they need to. I really like this tenor sax sound. And the vibrato on that on that long note at the end is just beautiful. I'm also a sucker for a good Barry sax sound, which is really just brought out beautifully here. Love this solo. Okay, some improvements that could happen. And I'm going to nitpick because I really like this woodwind library and I'm almost having to search for things to criticize. Tenuto Portamento seems to be a thing with these libraries. I'm not quite sure what's going on here in this bassoon. Yeah, not sure what's going on there. Hopefully it will get sorted out soon. Some notes are just not being played, which is a real pity. And hopefully it's a bug that can get fixed fairly easily. My PC certainly has enough resources, which would normally be the case with note dropouts. So here in this third bar... No idea. That F is just missing. Another thing is dynamics are not always convincing. They're there, they're just not... Mm, yeah, they need a bit more. Uh, this bit underneath the piccolo, for example. The swell. kind of needs a bit more oomph, I feel. In the saxes, the soprano sax just doesn't match the volume with the other saxes, and I had to adjust its volume in the mixer just to get some kind of balance. And these accents do just pop out a little bit too much, even in a mezzo piano we heard just now, that accent really just pops too much. Whoa, where did that come from? While we're with the saxes, the timing does feel uncertain at times. We heard it when I soloed that tenor sax. It's like... like we're not sure if they're all playing to the same swing. Although, to be fair, I'm not sure if that's a problem with the woodwind library. It might just be a musical bug. I'll see if I can find out a bit more about that. It's not correct and it probably needs to be fixed, but I really do love how this 
tenor sax just holds on at the end. Typical sax soloist. I am really loving this woodwind section. I could even see myself writing more for saxes in future, as I've always been put off by the sound in older software. The orchestral woodwinds are crisp and beautiful. No more to say than that, really. Please remember that MuseScore is open source, and they need your help to improve the software. So as you find problems, report them so that they can be dealt with. Next up, I want to look at the percussion section, the sparkle to any good orchestral composition. So keep an eye out for that one coming soon. Bye.